Okay, let's watch this newly released Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie video footage together. I've kind of put it in order. It is from Friday, August 27, 2021. And the context is important to me. You'll see them pulling into a Whole Foods parking lot. Now that wasn't a full moon. The full moon was prior to that day, Sunday, August 22nd. And so it was the following Friday, the Friday that authorities think that Gabby may have been fatally harmed by Brian's. It was just a few hours before. So we see them in the parking lot. We see Brian get out. They are in a Whole Foods parking lot. Apparently Brian is going to slam the door and I'm paying attention to their body language. The context is important. Don't worry, there's no audio, so I'm just talking over it. But what happened prior to this Whole Foods visit is important. The couple had just been in some type of brouhaha at a Tex-Mex restaurant named Mary Piglet's. And there's been several different testimonies about what really happened, but you'll see Gabby walking and her arms are crossed. It's like she's trying to still get close to Brian Laundrie. He's wiping his nose, he's got his hat on, he's got his glasses on. They're in the dairy aisle. So they show up at around 2.11 at the Whole Foods. And by 2.18 or so, they're in the dairy aisle. It looks like a couple of guys are going to check out Gabby, maybe. I don't know if Brian notices, but down the dairy aisle, eventually, it looks like one guy kind of looks at Gabby. After all, she was a very attractive girl. But prior to this, there was a manager in that Mary Piglet's restaurant that said there was some kind of commotion between Gabby and Brian. And so you can see Gabby just walking with a couple of bags. One looks like, see, there's a guy with that mask on. It looks like he kind of checked her out. Maybe he was just, you know, doing it on the sly. Maybe he was just looking back at Gabby. Brian looks like he's over it all. He's probably still seething from the scene he made at the Mary Piglet's restaurant. He walks away down the dairy aisle, away from Gabby. She continues on. Maybe it's her solace, just being there trying to calm down. She had already tried to calm him down. Now, there was an unnamed restaurant manager from the Mary Piglet's who told Brian Enton of News Nation that the couple had left the Mary Piglets without paying and then a server followed Gabby and Brian outside and the couple paid the bill on the street but then moments later they re-entered the restaurant and Gabby tried to get her money back so I'm wondering if Brian was egging her on trying to do that but the manager of the cafe refused to refund Gabby her money so Brian had asked, where's the um, surveillance footage from Mary Piglet's? And he said they did have surveillance video, but didn't know it was significant at the time and it has since been deleted. So now we see Gabby kind of nearby the cheese section or dairy section or something. They did purchase cheese and coffee and there's a guy in a black shirt who kind of looks back at her. Maybe he was just trying to miss her, I don't know. So they only bought a couple of things. We know how expensive Whole Foods is. We know how easy it is to drop 300 bucks at Whole Foods just like that. And so Brian's kind of following Gabby around the... Now, even though that manager would not describe what exactly happened when Brian Enton tried to quiz them, that manager seemed to conflict with what another person, another witness said. 
So now we're watching around 2.30, Brian and Gabby are just walking out of Whole Foods. It's one of those things we wish we could grab her and just turn around and prevent what happened. When they go back to their van and some of this video is chopped up, they don't leave right away. It takes them several minutes to pull out, head on to Highway 9, and lead back to that campsite where Gabby would be found, unfortunately, about three weeks later. So even though the manager of Mary Piglet's in Jackson, Wyoming, would not tell Brian Enton specifically what happened, she did say there's no video footage of the incident. They did confirm the couple was there. They already notified FBI back then. However, two other witnesses, Nina Angelo and her boyfriend, Matt England, said they saw there was a commotion. And Nina said, it's something you don't see every day. You see that van, that Gabby's infamous van driving away out of that parking lot, waiting to turn left. But Nina had said, it's something you don't see every day. The way he's acting, she's crying. You could tell he was angry. So we don't know what the argument was over, what exactly happened in Mary Piglet's in the Tex-Mex restaurant. Nina called Brian aggressive and there might have been some kind of argument about the bill. Nina said he was just being very aggressive. It's almost like he was screaming. He would not let it go. So why was Brian so mad at the servers? And unfortunately, it feels like Gabby just took the brunt of his anger during this Whole Foods trip and beyond. Did Brian know what he was about to ultimately do to Gabby when he was in Whole Foods? Maybe not. Maybe he didn't know, but he was seething. Maybe it was that kind of quiet anger. He was following her around. And those of us who have experienced, you know, any type of abusive type of relationships, we know we've been in that position. Fortunately, not everything Gabby had to suffer but Gabby apologizing for Brian, paying the money. And why was Brian being so cheap anyway? Maybe he was trying to save a bunch of money, I'm thinking, but why was he being so cheap? Because now that these lawsuits have come about, rightly so, because of her death, we find out that Brian not only likely stole a thousand bucks from Gabby, but he had 20,000 bucks in some bank account somewhere. So why was there an argument at a Tex-Mex eatery over some bill? We can empathize with Gabby just wanting to pay the bill. I wish we could see this footage. We don't know. Footage could have easily been written over because, you know, you don't have the space to store all that video. And why did this video come out now? I wish we could see the piglets video because that would let us know, you know, we'd see Brian leaving the restaurant back and forth four times and Gabby there crying on the sidewalk as the witnesses reported. The manager seems to want to downplay what happened and I don't know why, but why would Brian be so angry at the servers over a bill? and Gabby just trying to calm the situation, pay the bill, trying to make everything okay, going off to Whole Foods, getting just coffee and cheese, and probably trying to have a nice weekend. But was it at this point, like the Lifetime movie showed, which could be very well true, had Gabby had enough? You don't wanna suffer public humiliation if you have a boyfriend who's going off on servers over a bill, you know, Gabby's crying in public, and maybe she thought, I don't want to deal with this. Maybe, like the Lifetime movie inferred, maybe she wanted to catch a flight or a bus back to New York, and maybe she told Brian, take the van, and maybe he flipped. He didn't realize what he had in such a beautiful, kind girl, and possessiveness and not letting anyone else have her. Maybe that was the deal. But sadly, I think this might be the last footage we ever see of the couple. People are kind of flipping out over it. Some people are just so outraged. Why would you release it? According to Fox News, this footage was discovered sometime after September 11th, 2021, after Gabby was reported missing, but we don't know how soon after September 11th. 
Of course, it's important. They would have to delve into everything in order to know their movements, the couple's timeline. And not only that, now it becomes a study to us in how to try and safely get out of DV situations, how to avoid them altogether. And Brian Laundrie's narcissism hit the roof because you can tell he did not have true repentance and regret because after this, he was able to go off and go camping with his family, ultimately go take his own life. However, write this BS journal entry, making up everything, claiming that Gabby somehow injured herself after this video was captured and he ended her life graciously, as if he's on some type of euthanasia campaign. Well, no. If he truly, truly repented in what he had done, he would have at least told her parents where she was, or at the very least told us the truth about what happened after they left Whole Foods. Did Gabby threaten to leave him? Did he lose it and then take her life? Even in death, he couldn't deal with his reputation taking the hit, so he had to make up an elaborate story about allegedly Gabby being injured and begging him to take her out of his misery as if he's the hero of this story. And that's what lets you know that he was a complete narcissist, only concerned about himself to the end and beyond. But beyond him allegedly putting his bullet in that left temple, seconds later, you know, seconds after you die, you have to meet your maker. So you can't BS God. So. There's a lesson to be learned from acting like Brian. Gabby, her story can help so many people get out of their situations. Psalm 27, 14, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Thanks again for watching.